<laughs> What's up, Money Growth Academy? Welcome back to another episode of our zero to ten thousand dollar challenge. And this episode, it's a little bit different than the normal ones. We do have a little bit of couch flipping up front. I'm going to show you guys. I finally sold those three leather couches, and you're not going to believe what I sold them for. I got a crazy, crazy profit on those ones. So stay tuned for that one. But after that, this episode is going to get a little more different because I didn't have a whole lot of time this week. So I got really, really busy because I'm working on putting together some stuff actually for you guys. So I'm hoping by next video, I can show you all what I've been working on and hopefully have it all ready to go. We'll see though, no guarantees. Anyways, so I had a really busy week and also I'm trying to conserve a lot of our cash on hand because having cash on hand is one of the most powerful things you can have, especially when you're trying any flipping side hustles or any side hustle as a matter of fact, because cash is your capital that you can do more with. So I'm trying to save this cash because there is a car auction coming up and I'm not sure if I am going to buy anything at that car auction. However, there are a few items I'm pretty interested in if I can get them for the right price. So let me know down in the comments before we get going with the video. Do you want to see me try and flip something bigger like a car, a camper, like a trailers or something like that? I don't know. I got a bunch of different ideas. Let me know down below if you want to see me tackle some bigger items. That I'm really interested to see. I've seen other YouTubers try these bigger things like campers, cars, and trailers, and I'm kind of skeptical if they're actually making money or not, because they don't always show, like I show, you know, Venmo receipts or bill of sales or whatever it is. So I never know if they're actually being for real when they sell these things or not. So yeah, let me know down below if you want to see me tackle these bigger flips and make sure to smash that like button for me. It dramatically helps me and the channel grow so I can produce more and more content for you guys and keep these videos pumping out, and it helps get these videos out to more people. Anyway, so after we flip our first set of couches in this video, I'm going to take you more in depth into the how to, because a lot of you I have noticed in the comments are always asking me, you know, what products I'm using to clean the couches, what I am even using to clean the couches, uh, the, about this rub and restore stuff, how I list these, the description, the pictures, all of that stuff. Because I didn't have a lot of time to be flipping other couches this week, and I'm going to sit down and make a much more in-depth video here and go a little bit more in depth about the actual logistics of couch flipping and showing you all how you can realistically start going and kind of the things that I think you may need and I'm gonna give you some pointers on descriptions on pictures and all of that anyway so before we get started again make sure you hit that like button for me comment down below if you want to see me tackle some bigger flips like cars trailers campers whatever it is and also make sure you subscribe for me and let's go ahead and jump into today's video all right all right what's up everyone let's go ahead and go over some stuff really quick because we got some good news all three of these leather couches just sold, baby. Let's go. So what happened is the guy saw my listing for those two online, and he also saw that one. And he messaged me, and he said, hey, I'm actually looking for a whole living room set. Would you sell me all three? And I said, well, obviously, of course I would, right? So he, they just came. Him and his wife just came and checked those out right now. They like them. They're going to be buying them. He invented me half up front tonight. So I'll take them down off the, you know, Facebook marketplace or whatever. So he invented me 750 up front now. And they paid full asking price for everything. So 1000 for those two and 500 for that one, which means 1500 So he invented me 750 up front now. And he's going to come and pick these up tomorrow night because he did not have a trailer with him to get them tonight, which is no biggie at all. I'll definitely hold these tonight for 1500 bucks, okay? And so remember, we got that one for free. We got those two for 200 freaking dollars. And after all the rub and restore and all the supplies we needed to put into those, our profit on that is like $1,200, okay? So this is the biggest profit in couch flipping the history right now on the channel. This is insane. A $1,300 profit on that is so crazy, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit here overnight. He's gonna come pick it up tomorrow. But that's fifteen hundred dollars, which puts our new total at I think fifty eight hundred something, five thousand eight hundred fourteen. I'll pull up the total right there, but I'll update you guys on the next one. <sighs> All right, guys, it's time we talk about this product, Rub and Restore. Okay, let's go ahead and go over the numbers. Let's go over the pros and cons, and let's see. And let's just talk about if I think this was really worth the money spent and the time spent on this. So let's go ahead and start with the pros. So the pros of this product is it's actually a really, really quality product, right? 
I actually, after I had let it cure for two days, after I got that on and sealed it, I let it cure down here in the studio for two days. I took a white t-shirt and I just buffed the surface in a few different places on all three couches to see how well it really held up, right? And actually nothing came up off the surface at all, right? It was actually super, super stable. And that made me super confident that after buffing those three couches pretty hard, that I was more than confident that I could sell those to people and be sure that they were quality products, right? Because like I've said before, I want to make sure what I'm selling is quality products just because I like to have integrity and the things I'm doing, right? I don't want to sell people just crappy, unclean or crappy dyed couches or whatever. I made sure to do a really thorough job and then I waited a few days just to make sure that this stuff really held up and it was the real deal. So that was definitely a big pro is the durability and the second pro is just the look of it. These look so, so good. This cognac color is super popular right now in my area, especially. They have a bunch of different colors. So depending on the area you're in, you maybe deep brown or black couches are in. I don't know. Check out their website though and you can see all the colors they have. I just know in my area, cognac is really in. And this was a big pro to me. Also, after I put the sealer on, it was another pro just because it really, really brought out that color even more and they looked even better. Now, the third pro is that once you learn how to use it and apply it, it's really easy. However, this also kind of a con at the beginning. So let's go ahead and talk about the cons now. So the first con, like I was just saying, is kind of the learning curve. In the very beginning, it's a little bit weird to get used to because, it, because this stuff dries so fast that it's kind of hard to learn how to not get that streaky finish because you need to keep your sponge just a little bit damp, right? So that's the first con, just that slight learning curve. Now, the second con is probably the biggest thing is just the price. This is really, really expensive, guys. I think I ended up paying close to $160, or $180, one, between $150 and $180. I can't really remember now. But this bottle alone is like 70 bucks, and this bottle is like 20 to $35 or something. I don't remember. Now, this one is still like halfway full, so that's not bad. But this one is almost empty. It's pretty low already, actually. So price is definitely a big con. However, we made an almost $1,100 profit on those couches. So I'm more than happy with what we paid for these and the profit we ended up getting after the expense of the couches and the materials we had to get as well. Now, the third con is the shipping time. Now, this is not no Amazon Prime. They're not on Amazon. They're not at Walmart, Target, or anything like that. You have to buy directly from their website, which is kind of a bummer because the shipping time is about three to four days. I think it might have even taken me five days, but it did take just a little bit to come. Now, it's not really not that many days, but when I'm just, I'm just so used to like two-day Amazon shipping or next to Amazon shipping in my area. So like three, four, five days seems super, super long, but it's really not a big deal at all, actually. So those are the three cons and the pros. So do I think this is actually worth it? Honestly, guys, I think it is. I think it definitely is. However, what I would recommend for you guys is don't start like I did with so many different couches trying to do so much. Just start with like an armchair or like a sofa or a love seat and just start there, okay? It's really not that bad if you start smaller and then work your way up once you get the hang of these things. Now, I actually did really love this product. So I reached out to the company. I got an affiliate link with them. So check the description below. But honestly, guys, you don't have to use my affiliate link. I just really love the product. So I reached out to them. This is not sponsored or anything, but it would really help me out if you use that affiliate link if you do go with this product. Now, there are definitely other products. I'm just going to be upfront with you. You can go to Amazon and look up other leather dyeing and leather restoring kits on Amazon or Walmart or whatever. And there's like some that are half the price of this, okay? So you don't have to go this more expensive route. It's not necessary. But I did try a few of those other products like Furniture Clinic and whatnot, and they just didn't hold up or look the same way that this Rub and Restore one did. So I think this is definitely worth the price and worth the time to get this one. But if you are interested, make sure to check out that link in the description below. I'll put my affiliate link down there for Rubber and Restore. Go over there, check it out. They have a bunch of different colors. Now, one other thing I should note is just to be careful going with these Jurassic color changes. It takes a lot more product and just a lot more time, and it might not turn out the way you think. So if you are going to try to go to like a cognac color or something else, try and find something fairly similar or maybe try and stick with something similar and maybe not take on such a Jurassic color change. Okay, so let's jump into the next portion of this video. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back down here to the studio. All right, so as you see, I finally am dealing with these huge two green ones. If you remember, I think it was back in episode three, this is episode six now, but back in episode three, we, ha we got these two green couches along with those other Natuzzi couches as well. Now, the problem with these ones were that they're just a little bit too beat up for me, right? Now, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I remember I showed you some of the cushion covers on this and how there was like those little micro tears to the leather and whatnot. Anyway, so these are just, I think, going to be too far beyond repair. And I'm just kind of tired of all the leather dying right now. I want to just get back to the normal stuff. I can just move super quick. So right now, this is not the move. However, let me flip the camera around and show you all what I'm gonna do. Before I take them to the dump, I'm actually gonna take them to a local uh, thrift store. 
and probably donate that small one. This one I think is just way too beat up that I won't take, but I'll see if they'll take it as well. Anyways, like I'm saying though, before I take these to the dump, I am taking the donor fabric. Remember this black fabric on the bottom, because this stuff is like freaking 20 bucks at Joann's, like this replacement black fabric. I mean, what a waste of money when I can just take it off of the back of another one of these couches. So I already went ahead and I just ripped it off. As you can see, here's all the staples that held it in. I just ripped it off so I could save that fabric for another couch. Cause that's a pretty common thing if I ever have to open up the bottom of a couch. And then I always have extra fabric I can throw in there and patch with. So these two are finally be going. Probably not, it's Monday now. I'll probably be getting rid of these on Wednesday because I have to make an appointment to go donate and drop these off. So hopefully by Wednesday, these are out of here and I've got more room to be doing all this other stuff. All right, what's up everyone? So we just dropped off those two green couches. Turns out they did end up taking both of those. So that was super, super lucky. They didn't even ask about the color, the cushions or anything. So Trey and I are gonna run over to one of these Amazon liquidation pile places and see what we can find. All right, everyone, so we're just leaving that Amazon warehouse now. I was looking around in there and there was a lot of stuff as you saw. There's just a ton, a ton of stuff. However, they didn't really have anything that was really making me too interested. They did have one sectional actually, uh, a return from Sam's Club. I was pretty interested in it, but after looking at it a little bit closer, you gotta be careful with these and look really close, right? Because there's no refunds with these. There's no nothing. But after looking a little bit closer, there were some tears on it and like the fabric or vinyl, whatever was peeling up. So I definitely passed on that one way quick because he was trying to sell it for 700 and that was just way too high, especially for the damage. And I think it might've even had a missing part on it. Anyways, so from just looking around a little bit like I was, there wasn't really anything that was too interesting or good looking that I thought I could probably sell for a good margin and move quick enough. Definitely gonna keep my eye out. There's a few other warehouses in my area that I want to check out pretty soon here. I'm not sure yet. Okay, everyone, it's finally time we start talking about some of the products I use every time I get one of these couches because a lot of you guys have been asking about this. Now, the only product up here that I don't use is my vacuum because obviously I'm not going to, you know, put my whole vacuum on the table. Anyway, so let's go ahead and start with the Bissell. A lot of you have been asking about this, okay? So this is the Bissell Little Green Pet Pro. This thing is an absolute freaking beast of a machine for its size. So as you can see, this is your dirty water tank here. And all that happens here is this little thing pops off and you're able to take off the lid and empty it. So that right here is, uh, so this right here is just your dirty water tank, pretty straightforward there. It can actually hold quite a bit of water. As you can see, here's the fill line there. And once it's full, it will actually stop sucking uh, just to make sure it doesn't get too full. And then back here on the backside, you've got your water tank. This is your reservoir where you put your water and your soap. So I don't know here, you probably can't see on camera, but it has your fill lines. It tells you what you should fill it to and then how much formula you should put in there as well. I don't really follow, I kind of just pour formula in there, whatever. You always need to use hot, hot water. The hottest water you can get because the hotter the water, the better it's going to clean and the longer it's going to stay hot inside of this tank since this tank doesn't have a heater on it. Now I fill this up almost completely with water and then the last little bit I fill with the Folex uh, Instant Carpet Spot Remover here. Now this is for carpets, but it also works, works really well for upholstery at as it also says right here, also excellent for upholstery there. So this stuff is really, really good, but like it doesn't leave any soap scum at all. This stuff is freaking incredible. And I'm telling you, any stain I've had, I think there's only been one stain where I had to use a much more heavy chemical and maybe some rubbing alcohol on it to get it out. But this carpet spot remover right here is insane. It gets a ton, a ton of stuff up out of your couches and whatnot. So definitely this is a must have and this. Now, another thing that's a must is a trimmer. Now, Manscaped, if you're watching this, someone from Manscaped, uh, go ahead and throw me a sponsorship because I'm showing some more uses from your trimmer besides, you know, trimming your hedges. Um, anyways, sorry about that. That was uncalled for. Anyways, so a trimmer or like a little fuzz sweater remover because the thing with this is, like I've showed you multiple times before, this allows you to get off any fuzzies when you just turn this on and you just go across really easy. And I really like the Manscaped because I think this is a lot more powerful than the sweater fuzz removers. And I still have not cut through a couch with this, so I'm not really concerned about ever doing that. So this is definitely a must. Something like this, 
Now you don't have to use just a manscaped one, just any other trimmer that has like, you know, some kind of nick guard on it to make sure you don't go through your fabric, but be careful. Now the next thing you're gonna need is probably a stapler. Now this is for whenever I'm pulling off that black fabric on those couches, that way I can staple it back on. That way you can pick up couches that maybe have broken things underneath or in the frame. So you can rip off the black fabric, get in there, fix up the frame, and staple it back on. Now this happens to be an electric one, but you can definitely just get the handguns that are only like six or seven, ten bucks or something at Home Depot. I'm not really sure. I'll put some links down below for some other hand ones and also this electric one you can get. But definitely you're going to need a stapler if you plan on fixing up couches on the underside so you can get that black fabric back on there. So now let's talk about the Bissell again for a second. So this thing is honestly super convenient. As you see here, it's got a cord reel, and on the other side, it's got your hose reel, okay? Now this thing has got a few attachments. So it's got this pet stain removal tool here, and it's also got this more just your normal smaller tool here as well. Now I also happen to have a bigger six inch wide head, and I would definitely recommend you get a bigger head because trying to do a full couch with just this little head kind of gets a little bit annoying. So you probably want something that's at least six inches because you can cover a lot more ground a lot quicker. Now these are really easy to snap on and off. Just on the back here, they have a little clip. All you do is you just push that clip in, it pops right off, and then you can go ahead and just pop the new head on just like that, and you're all set. So this is a really, really great little carpet cleaner here. I really recommend this. It's super powerful. It's got your little power button right there. It's super lightweight actually to carry around. And it's just a really nice asset to have, right? Because this doesn't take up a lot of space. It's not super, super loud. And it does a really, really good job, especially when paired with something like this Folex. Now, down in the description, I'm going to drop all the links to all this stuff I'm using. And hey, while you're there, actually, would you mind? Um, and hey, while you're there, actually, if you don't mind, scroll up just a little bit from that description and smash that like button for me. It dramatically helps me out on the channel. It helps me with the algorithm. It helps me get more views on these videos. So, so I really appreciate it if you help me out there. Hit that like button and subscribe. So anyways, these are definitely the two staples that I couldn't do this without. This little Bissell and this full spot remover. So links for these will be down in the description. Now let's go ahead and talk about the pictures, uh, how I find these things. Do I offer delivery and all of that now? All right, everyone. So you want to know how I'm finding these couches. So... I'm going to go ahead and put up a screen recording right now as I'm doing this live just so you can see what I'm actually looking for. Okay, so yeah, as you, you can see my screen here, and it really depends on your area. Uh, you're you're going to know what sells and what doesn't sell. Like, for example, I know this couch right here will sell really, really fast. If not, I'm actually surprised it hasn't sold yet at this price because this is a really nice light gray sectional. And sectionals sell really, really well in my area. Now, in your area, it might be leather couches. It might be these fabric couches. It might be blue couches, green couches. I don't know what it is for you. However, in my area, it's really these gray couches. For example, like this gray couch here, uh, whoever listed it, they're not the best pictures. I'm not going to lie. These are kind of crappy pictures, like in like a dingy looking garage. It's kind of dark in there. You can't really see the real color of it. And she's got listed for 200 I don't know, maybe at 100 I could probably sell that for 300 um, this couch right here, maybe if she came down to like 400, I could sell it for like 800 just with some better pictures, but obviously, you know, low balling them at 400. That's a bit of a stretch, but Hey, I'm probably going to try it anyways. And now just coming down a little bit more here, as you can see, I'm kind of scrolling faster because a lot of these, I'm just looking at the price. I'm like, oh, these are way too much, but I'm just looking for like sets or gray couches. Um, I know like these are more brown couches definitely do not sell in my area very fast. Now, you definitely can get these, and you're going to sell them eventually. But the thing is, I want to sell these couches fast. I don't want to hold on to them for like a week and a half. So I'm looking for things I can quickly, quickly flip. Okay, here's a good one right here. This one is $300. This is probably like an $800 couch, brand new, just by the looks of it. It looks really good condition. I really like the color, actually. However, at $300, that's still a bit too high, probably. I'd probably need it down more like $200 to make a good deal off of that. Anyhow, so now you know, yeah, like what I'm kind of looking for here. I'm also looking for like people who said like needs to go by this weekend, um, like things like that needs to go ASAP because those are the people that you can usually lowball. Um, let's see. What's this one right here? This one doesn't look bad. It looks like they just couldn't fit it inside their house. Um, and right there, it said they need to sell ASAP. So that's another good one, right? Okay. So anyways, those are just a few of the ones I'm looking for, right? Now let's go ahead and talk about the actual listing pictures. So as you know, back here, I have this black background and this is where I take all of my listing pictures. Now, in your case, you might not have a background like that. You might not have an accent wall or something like that. I happened to build that one. That's the only reason I have it. So if you wanted to build one, you definitely could. 
If not, here's what I would do. I would definitely find a well, a really well lit place inside your house or outside in a garage or wherever it is, something well well lit. Try and get a lot of natural sunlight. I usually open my windows in here. You can't see the windows, but I usually open my windows I have in this room because natural light is your friend with these pictures. It makes your pictures look so much better and looks the couches look way better as well. So find the place inside your house where you can stage this. Now, like I usually stage these couches with these two shelves. I push these out a little bit. Or I bring a green plant downstairs or something like that. Something to add a, more, a little more life in because it really helps people imagine what these couches are going to look like inside their space, which is a huge game changer for you and for them. For you, because you're going to make way more money because way more people are going to be interested seeing this couch instead of like in just a dingy storage unit like most couch flippers. It's going to look a lot nicer, like more homey, more friendly, warm looking environment where they'll be able to better imagine how that's going to look into in their home as well. So that's a big plus that you need to make sure you're doing is staging your picture as well. Because believe it or not, that main image that you took that you're going to have on that Facebook feed, when people are scrolling through, they're either going to click or not click depending on how that first image looks. So it's imperative that those images look pristine and staged and well lit. That way they click on that image in the first place and then keep scrolling through and then eventually message you, right? Now, as far as my descriptions go, a lot of you have been asking about this. They're really not technical at all. I'll put up a screenshot of one of my descriptions here. I honestly just say like beautiful couch, like beautiful gray couch, beautiful leather couch. I usually put the dimensions in there. I usually say, you know, no rips, no stains, no tears. And that was just recently shampooed and deep cleaned. This is a really, really important one to make sure you tell people because that's a big thing, especially with everything going on in the world right now as well. People really want to make sure they're bringing something clean into their house with their little kids, with their families, with their spouses, whatever it is, right? Only if you have really deep clean, okay? You know, don't lie about this. Have a little bit of integrity. Actually deep clean these couches. Make them clean. Just with everything going on in the world, it's the right thing to do to actually properly clean and, uh, you know, get all the germs and all the nasty stuff off these couches. Also, you can make like probably an extra $200, $300 just by simply deep cleaning the couch instead of just trying to flip a dirty couch for like 50 bucks profit. It's really not worth it. Just deep clean the couch. You're going to get your money out of it and it's going to be, and it's going to look way nicer and way more people are going to message you about it and you're going to sell it way faster as well. That's another big thing. So I usually always make sure I put in the description that the couches have been deep cleaned. I usually always put the dimensions. I usually always say that, you know, they're super comfy, they're sturdy, no rips, stains, or tears. And that's about it for the description. Now, another thing I usually put in the description is that I can possibly deliver the couch to them depending on the area they live in. I might do it for free or maybe a little bit extra depending on how far they live, right? Which is super reasonable. Now, I usually do this only when I know I'm going to for sure have access to like a truck or trailer or something like that. Or I, if it's like a big sectional, I'll always put I can deliver and I'll just charge them extra because then I can just go rent like a Home Depot truck and charge them like 100 extra bucks. And then a the Home Depot truck only costs me like 30 bucks to rent. So that's another thing I usually do. I do recommend it's usually a good idea to offer delivery because a lot of people don't have a way to actually get these couches into their house, surprisingly. So offering delivery is a huge selling point for a lot of people. So that's really it with like the description and offering delivery. A lot of you guys had questions on that and also about the pictures. That's really all there is to doing this, guys. You guys can do this so easily, okay? You just got to get out there, start flipping, start finding these couches. You can definitely do this. Everyone can do this in your area. And another comment I'm getting a lot is like, oh, there's no way this would work in my area. Like people don't pay that much for couches. Well, then so what? Go find something else to flip, whether that's a dresser, nightstands, bed frames, uh, trailers, whatever it is, right? In your area, there is something to flip. No matter what area you're in, whether you're in suburban areas, urban areas, rural areas, it doesn't matter where you are. There is things you can flip, whether it's like dressers, nightstands, whatever it is. I'm just, I always see that comment in the description that, oh, people never pay this much for couches. Well, then don't do couches and do, do other things. Find dressers or whatever it is, right? There's a plethora of things you can flip on Facebook Marketplace. So guys, that's all there is really to finding these couches, to the descriptions, to the pictures, to the offering delivery. So let's go ahead and jump into the outro. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here. I really just wanted to break down all this stuff because I see a lot of comments down below asking questions. So I wanted to go over kind of all the logistics side of this. And also, like I said earlier, it was kind of just a slower week in general. And I was super busy trying to work on some other stuff I'm actually doing for you guys. So go ahead, comment down below if you have any other questions about what I'm doing here. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching another episode of our zero to $10,000 challenge here. We're ending this episode at $5,814.63. I think that sounds right. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you want to see me try and flip some bigger items like cars, trailers, campers, some bigger things like that? Or do you want to keep seeing me do this furniture stuff? I might try and do some, you know, like bed sets or dressers, nightstands. 
or I might even try and do some Amazon liquidation stuff. I tried to look earlier in the video. I went to a warehouse to go look at some stuff, but I couldn't really find anything that was worth the money, to be honest. So anyways, let me know down in the comments below what else you want to see me doing here. Also, let me know, do you have any other questions about this couch flipping stuff? I tried to cover most of what I thought would need to be covered in this video. Let me know down below though. And don't forget, in the description, I'm dropping all the links to the, all like the Bissell, the carpet cleaner, the rub and restore, all the stuff that I use. There's links down below. Check those all out there. If you want to know what I'm using, the startup things that I think you should get if you're going to try this all. So thanks for tuning in for another video, everyone. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.